Greetings, greetings, all my dreamers and dreamettes. It's your boy Mickey Fenty, aka Mickey Made It. If you're new to this channel, you know what to do to this channel. Subscribe right now. And if you want to support my brand, it's inspiredbydreams.shop. It's a preppy streetwear brand. Dress outside of the box. You can add a piece to your closet. Okay, before we jump into this, I just want to give a shout out to my um my chat tribe and big shouts out to let me see big shouts out to Charlie Shaw I hope I pronounced it right just giving me some insight and I always like to talk with um, my community and we just like to chop it up and just just discover different things about each other and I will get back to after we visit another conversation that we once had so I'll be doing that episode most likely after this one and that's African-American versus caribbean so we'll get to that shouts out to you and thank you for subscribing to the channel love you guys and let's just jump right into this one today you guys strap your seat belts in pay close attention and don't get mad just don't get mad try not to get mad because we're gonna hear things from both sides okay and sometimes people's opinions on things are totally off and sometimes people are directly hitting with their opinion what I like to do is try to gather up everybody's opinion just to let you guys know and people that don't know that people see things so differently that you wouldn't even understand I mean sometimes people are raised up with these different types of traditional thoughts and they can't break out of those thoughts or believe in something else unless they learn to think for themselves. So we're going to jump into this whole episode right here, white privilege. Let's get it. story we are finding out where white privilege cards originated that are now circulating around sand spring today students protested outside charles page high school calling the cards racist fox 23's tony motorzitki joins us live with who created these cards in the first place his name is joel patrick i'm sorry and he's actually african-american now parents i spoke with say uh this is intended for comedic relief but there's nothing humorous about these this is the Instagram page of Joel Patrick. He calls himself the Black Redneck and posts skits for his one million followers. He created these cards that are now being found in schools across the country. And now he Honestly, I wouldn't call this like dream chasing or like going through your journey. I would call this most likely opportunist. Here in Sand Springs, parent Angela Stites says her daughter received a card Tuesday. She's like, actually, they're selling them for a dollar. And she's like, and then when they were done selling them, they started passing them out. This card, originally made for humor, she says, it isn't tickling her funny bone. It story we are finding out where white privilege cards originated that are now circulating around sand spring today students protested outside charles page high school calling the cards racist fox 23's tony motorzitki joins us live with who created these cards in the first place his name is joel patrick i'm sorry and he's actually african-american now parents i spoke with say uh this is intended for comedic relief but there's nothing humorous about these this is the instagram page of joel patrick he calls himself the black redneck and posts skits for his one million followers he created these cards that are now being found in schools across the country and now here in Sand Springs. Parent Angela Stites says her daughter received a card Tuesday. She's like, actually, they're selling them for a dollar. And she's like, and then when they were done selling them, they started passing them out. This card, originally made for humor, she says, it isn't tickling her funny bone. It angered me, it hurt me, and it, it literally bothers me to my core. Hi, my name is Joel Patrick, and I'm a social media personality and conservative influencer and co-creator of the white privilege card. Now you may be asking, what is the purpose of a white privilege card? I co-created the white privilege card to make fun of this idea of white privilege and to fight against critical race theory. I am firmly opposed to the belief that white people are born racist and need to unlearn their racism. It's genius. And having heard ideas like that propagated by the left, I took it upon myself to fight against it. Since 2018, I've been creating social media posts and content that encourages people to stand up against all forms of racism, including racism against white people. I believe it's okay to be white. I believe it's okay to be black. I believe it's okay to be any skin color that God made you in. Because God doesn't make mistakes. And I believe that racism against white people is just as problematic 
as racism against black people or any other race. What? Throughout the years, the white privilege card has gone through many variations, starting out as just a paper business card, and later the plastic card, which was our best seller and the most popular card to date. Uh... The thing about white privilege, and I'ma touch your hand when I say this, so hold my hand, is that the struggles and trauma you went through suck. But they didn't happen because you were white. And that's the thing. I will go through things in every space I occupy on every continent in every country that you won't understand because I look like this and you look like that. Example, we both might be broke by the end of the day, but when you popped out the womb, your mother's first thought was not, what is a racially ambiguous, gender ambiguous name I can give you that will give you a leg up in life? Your mom just gave you a name. And I can explain to you all of the well-researched, well-backed up ways that privilege has colored your life in a way that you are yet to understand. But before you listen to me, you will decide that you hate me because that is easier. And that is a privilege that you get to have. You get to maneuver the world with your anger and hate based on your trauma without ever thinking about the nuances, much less living them. And that is the privilege that you choose to not understand. My 11 year old son asked me, dad, what is white privilege? I said, well, you know how sometimes when we go to a store, we get followed around by security for no real reason? He said, no, that doesn't happen to us. And I said, well, that's white privilege. You are the epitome of white privilege, coming into the oversight committee, spitting in our face, ignoring a congressional subpoena to be deposed. What are you afraid of? You have no balls. I just want to run it back though to the very beginning because this is something that I just can't get over. I can't get over the gentle lady from South Carolina talking about white privilege. It was a spit in the face, at least of mine as a black woman, for you to talk about what white privilege looks like, especially from that side of the aisle. And let me quote your now ousted speaker and what he had to say about the Republican party and y'all's lack of diversity. When you look at the Democrats, they actually look like America. When I look at my party, we look like the most restrictive country club in America. And let me tell you why nobody wants to talk to y'all behind closed doors, cause y'all lie. That's just the bottom line. You have done it thus far in this investigation. You have done it this far as it relates to this committee. In every single hearing, y'all spin, spin, spin. I don't know how y'all are still standing right now because you should be quite dizzy from all the spinning that you're constantly doing when it comes to spinning the truth. Do only white people have privilege? No, I mean, rich people have privilege. Yeah. But why do we only focus on like white privilege? Probably because, I mean, the majority of the people that you see have privilege are probably white. But do you think in other aspects that other races could have privilege? Yeah, I think other pe races could have privilege. I mean, Kanye West probably has a significant amount of privilege. He's a billionaire. What? You know why you shouldn't be offended when someone says you have white privilege? Because it doesn't necessarily mean you're racist. There's all kinds of privilege in the world, and having it doesn't make you a bad person. Denying that it exists can, though. Take the fact that I live in the U.S. For all its flaws, U.S. citizens do have an unprecedented amount of personal freedom. That's a privilege that someone living under a dictatorship or a totalitarian regime does not have. I readily acknowledge this and would never minimize the suffering of another person by refusing to admit that I carry privilege in this area. Even as a black person living in the United States, I acknowledge that colorism is a very real thing. A darker skinned black person will have a very different lived experience than I do. That's a privilege that I carry. And of course there's all kinds of privilege that has nothing to do with race or ethnicity. Pretty privilege, straight privilege, wealth privilege. There's clear factual data around these advantages and pretending that they don't exist just makes us look like the ostrich with its head stuck in the sand. Having white privilege doesn't mean that you haven't had your share of hardships in life. It just means that your skin color isn't one of the things making those hardships worse. You actually thought white privilege exists and mixed people would be clinging onto the Caucasian side like their life depends. What if I told you that mixed kids that did try to cling to the white part of them also experienced low sense of belonging and rejection because white people wouldn't include them in their in-group? What if I also told you historically, dating back to slavery, that mixed kids were seen as less kids that did try to cling to the white part of them also experienced low sense of belonging and rejection because white people wouldn't include them in their in-group? What if I also told you historically, dating back to slavery, that mixed kids were seen as less than or not good enough to even be connected with their own parent, even though they had a white part of them? And last but not least, what if I told you there are some mixed folks that don't want to engage in the erasure of the other parts of their identity that maybe they feel proud of. When we see white supremacy and white privilege as a systemic issue that gives preferential treatment to certain people's phenotypes and race, then we will see why this take is inaccurate. You know that maybe everyone doesn't want to be white. They want to be given the same opportunities and equitable opportunities to be successful and honestly just belong. What does it feel like to be white? Especially if you're white in America. 
It feels like I'm going to get up every day and go work for everything that I have. It feels like I'm not going to blame you if your family member goes into my family's house and them or does some terrible things to them and then does something bad to themselves to where they can't be brought to justice or anything. I'm not going to seek out them to go get you so that you can pay for what your family member did or whoever was related to you in any sort of way. That's on them. They did that. They did the crime. It has no connection to you. Why would I blame you? Personally, I'm not going to live with white guilt. You respect me, I respect you. We are both human beings living in this world together. And the moment we learn that and unite together is when no one will hold any power over anyone, not the government, no one. We will all be functioning human beings that love each other as God wanted us to. Just so you know, calling someone privileged because they're white is judging someone by the color of their skin. White people are among the only group of people who can darken their skin and be praised for that. And a lot of y'all choose not to acknowledge that. I'll give her another example because it's the same types of people who will say, well, I'm not my ancestors and I never did what my ancestors did, so stop blaming me for it. Yet you're completely okay with reaping the benefits that your ancestors bestowed upon you by doing a bunch of fucked up shit. Let me dumb it down even more. Let's say you have a big plate of cookies in front of you and you and your other white peers are the only people who are allowed to eat these cookies. But the catch is your ancestors had to do a bunch of really bad stuff. Beat, rape, murder, enslave, a bunch of people to get those cookies on your plate. Them blood cookies, blood diamonds. But you eat them up anyways every day because they taste good and you like them. So I don't want to hear that argument anymore of I'm not my ancestors because y'all reap the benefits of your ancestors every motherfucking day and you don't care because you like those benefits. Tanning is one of them. At the end of the day, do what you want. If you want to tan, whatever. For all the people who are like, oh, I'm Italian, um, I tan naturally, I don't give a fuck. Tan if you want to tan. All I wanted y'all to do is acknowledge why y'all do it and acknowledge the privilege that it comes with. Stop acting dense, because y'all know the real reason. A lot of y'all conveniently ignored the part in that video where I said, y'all want to be us, but you don't want to be us. I wonder why. Okay. So do you think white privilege exists? Yeah, I'd say so. Do you think you have white privilege? Mm. Yeah, I'd, in some ways, for sure. Want to elaborate? Um, yeah, I feel like, I don't know, do like, there are just like certain, like, people look at me differently than they might look at somebody with darker skin, right? Like, definitely. Do you think that you have white privilege? Yeah, yeah, I do. Period. Yeah. All right, thank you. Yeah. Um, yes. Okay. And then a follow-up question is, do you think you have white privilege? No. Do you want to elaborate? Um, I feel like in the past there has been white privilege, but I feel like there's been many movements now, and I feel like it's not really a thing now. Yeah. Perfect. Do you want to answer it at all? Well, no. Yeah. Perfect. Thank you. That's it. I do. Yeah. Okay, do you think you have white privilege? I do, yeah. Okay. Okay, cool. Sweet, thanks. That's it? Yeah, that's yeah. it. You, yeah. What about you? Yes, definitely. Perfect. Right, follow up question. Do you believe that you have white privilege? I think I do. Yeah. Yeah. For Wanna sure. elaborate at all? Um I think that there's a lot of maybe opportunities available to me that aren't available to other people. And um I do think that that is because of the color of my skin. And that's a sad thing, but it's true. Anything you wanna add to that? Yeah, no, I agree. I think especially just historically um, what has happened um, and I think like even just where I was born and like the life that I've had is a lot to do with my skin and the skin of my ancestors. So, yeah. Perfect. Thank you. Yeah. Um, do you have white privilege? I believe everybody at Georgetown definitely does that is white. 100%. Absolutely. Absolutely. I think the fact that I don't need to think about my race just going about my daily life is a sign of white privilege. Um, if we're white, subliminally, we have privilege over other minorities. Yes. Did y'all know that for white folks to be able to go to work looking frumpy, earthy, casual, those are gifts of white privilege. Think about that before you leave out the house. If you want to talk about it, let me know. Live your best life. But I am happy to see some people do get it and some people have just a full sense of their own ways of looking at it. But what I could say is when it comes to white privilege, 
it exists. And like I always tell you guys, these conversations is happening. So you guys let me know what do you think and have you experienced this? Whether you're white, black, or do you have your own outlook of what this whole white privilege is? You guys let me know down below. Leave your comments and I'll get back to you guys. Love you guys. Till next time, it's your boy Mickey Fenty, a.k.a. Mickey Made It. And if you're new to this channel, you know what to do to this channel. Subscribe right now.